गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू गुड मॉर्निंग सर दिस इज डॉक्टर सर वन सेकंड आई वेलकम यू इन आवर ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर 2 रिलेटेड विद आवर सब्जेक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम लास्ट टाइम आई हैव वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस आवर सब्जेक्ट इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ द टू डिफरेंट सेक्शंस आर देयर means it is not like the our regular subject where all the six units are related with the same subject now this subject we have the first three unit related with the information system and second uh, section last three units are related with the engineering economics and that is the reason i have mentioned the subject here only the information system now let's start last time already we have discussed the number of points basic concept of the information system related with that with example we have understood what exactly the information system is as well as we have understood the concept of data information and the knowledge i hope all of you have got the previous lecture that we have discussed yes Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Then now today, as last time I told you, next time uh, we will continue with the same point, and also we will discuss the some of the real life example of information system. Now I just want to ask you, what is the information system? Is now you can see on the screen also. i want to answer from you what you have understood what is the information system is sir set of interpreted components yes who is this akash bhuve akash yes akash tell me the full definition what you have understood uh, sir data that can be interpreted so data it has many uh, meaning use for i am asking you what is the information system Information system is set of interpreted component. Interrelated or the interpreted? Interpreted. Interpreted. Yes, Gayatri. Dige Gayatri. Sir, sir, interrelated component. Ah, yes. Gayatri, Dige. Uh, it is a it is set of interrelated components that hmm. analyze so that meaning or data will be meaning for the user. ओके सूरज सूरज कैन यू हेयर मी सूरज सूरज मुर्तडक हाँ सर दिस इज योर फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द सेकंड फर्स्ट सर फर्स्ट लेक्चर ओके हैव यू सीन दैट वीडियो दैट आई अपलोडेड हाँ सर थोड़ी बगित वाय सर महित न मयूर इज देअर मयूर वकारे मयूर वकारे इज देअर मयूर हेलो हा मयूर टेल मी देव व्हॉट इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम व्हॉट यू अंडरस्टूड the interrelated one uh, how i can avoid your your background your your background noise 2 minutes 2 minutes yes yes sansare mansi mansi can you hear me yes sir ha ah, tell me the what you understood yes. as a information system Simple, it is a group of interrelated uh, 
group of what interrelated entities from hmm. the unified whole satyam ha ah, sir tell me what you understood as a information system sir information system is a group of tools that helps us to uh -huh. perform operation on the data such as collection of data distribution yes. of data and many exactly. more operation exactly it helps us to make decision on the data exactly in simple language it is just the tools or utilities that helps. yeah now last time we have thoroughly discuss what exactly mean by the information system is and here also can you able to see the screen pdf i have share yes, here sir. ppt yes sir there also i have written the yes, information sir. system can be same definition i am repeating here can be defined technical as a set of interrelated components or set of related components that collect process store and the distribute these four words you must be remember which four words collection pro collection storage processing and the distribution understood to yes, do sir. all these four activity we are using the different interrelated components and that is being called as that whole combination of interrelated components the system which is forming from that components it is that is called as what the information system now we have to see today what are that interrelated components are there okay what we have to see what are that interrelated components are there and below second point also i have mentioned why what is the what is the advantage of utilizing the information system why we required to utilize the information system what is the need yes mayur what is the need of information system mayur yes sir why we require the information system to collect the information okay for database to now using information system what we can do we can collect the information yes it is okay uh, it is being collected store what is next how what kind of benefit we can get from the information system make a decision exactly i have written there making the decision coordination control etc etc so information system last time i want to uh, recap that point last time related to the information system we have discussed the two terms traditional information system and the computerized information computerized. system barobar yes sir now this first yes. this definition i have written here first this definition is for the traditional information system also it is correct and for the computerized information system also it is correct am i right yes, kumawat kumawat yes sir barobar na he definition ha barobar sir this definition is same ki traditional asu de kiwa computerized asu de both are doing the both are giving us the same functionality but difference is what can anybody tell me traditional information system and the computerized information system sir by one, 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 one by one manasi jadav data handling sathi uh, traditional uh, nahi hai supported just the data nahi ek avela handle karu shakat apan तसे कंप्यूटर मध्ये एका वेळेस लॉट ऑफ डेटा वी कॅन हँडल नेक्स्ट हु वांट टू आन्सर दोज वांट टू आन्सर दे कॅन अनम्यूट देयर माइक एंड आन्सर आई कॅन सी देयर नेम हियर हां यस एनीबॉडी एल्स शिंदे मंजुषा यस सत्यम सर कंप्युटराइज कंप्युटर साठी आपले स्पेशल स्किल्स लागणार आहेत सर बा ट्रेडिशनल साठी एवढं काही गरज नाही म्हणजे काय इन शॉर्ट जे आपण लास्ट टाइम डिस्कस केलं द थिंग्स व्हिच आर डिस्कस लास्ट टाइम की ट्रेडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन इन केस ऑफ द ट्रेडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन 
is there any role of the computer no no there is no sir अजून सर डेटा ची डिमांड वाढते आणि केवढा डेटा पण प्रोड्यूस होते सर एवढा मॅन्युपुलेट किंवा हँडल करण्यासाठी ट्रेडिशनल जास्त हे नाही ट्रेडिशनल इज नॉट सो मच पॉवरफुल बरोबर कन्व्हिनिएंट नॉट त्या नॉट कंप्यूटर इट इज नॉट टू मच कन्व्हिनिएंट आल्सो इट्स अ ट्रेड सर सो आई सो यू हैव गॉट द डिफरेंस की ट्रेडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम आणि कंप्यूटराइज्ड इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम बोथ ऑफ बोथ द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम आर बीइंग यूटिलाइज्ड फॉर द सेम पर्पस एम आई राइट yes sir yes sir purpose yes, sir. of both sir. the system is same but hmm. the how that system is are systems are forming how that systems are forming that is different the point that here we are uh, reading here set of interrelated components that components are different in case of the traditional information system and that components are different in case of the computerized information system am i right Yes sir. Yes. yes. Now I want to ask you next question. Is it possible to use software in case of the traditional information system? No sir. No. no. If there is a no presence of the no. computer in the tra traditional information system, then how can we use the computers? Uh, sorry, softwares. Yes or no? Yes. Because software only runs on the computer. computer that is the obvious thing barobar all of you are agree with me yes sir now my yes, next sir. question yes. to you what are the components of the traditional information system that is my straight forward question what are the components of traditional information system uh, the persons and the register registers uh, where we can uh, um, our data so store okay okay another anybody else you told you tell me what uh, the physical register and the data na uh, yes sir yes gayatri gade what do you think which components are required in case of traditional information system component in the sense do you understand the meaning of components component in the sense which what is what are the different required things in order to in order to make the traditional information system just like now uh, uh, somebody tell me what physical register and the data barobar hmm. what others components will be required what other things will be required or only these two are sufficient यस निकिता चांदर मयूर योगेश खरात सर रिसेप्शन विशाल जगदा yes mayur wakare which components will required for traditional or yes traditional traditional components yes gayatri dige Your your voice is not clear. We can't hear you. Yes, Gayatri. Gayatri. Human resource. Human resources. Ah, yes. Human resources. Like previously, somebody tell me registers. Okay, data. And human resources. Now, within a human resources, which which things will come? human resource in the sense the different people who are working there yes or no yes sir yes mm -hmm. then customers who are coming to that company they will also 
their data also required or not required yes vendors data also required or not yes so that's why now i am saying in case of the traditional information system the components require are the components require are physical registers different peoples like customers vendors managers of the company and most importantly various kind of data various kind of data understood so these are nothing but the interrelated components related with the traditional information system all of you got this point yes sir yes you yes. got the yes, components of the traditional information system yes sir yes so yes, sir. both of these information system traditional as well as the computerized information <laughs> system performing the role of decision making coordination control and that might be helping to the workers within your company also or to the managers within a company also or to the higher executive managers within our company also understood just go to the next point okay now my next question is here if we want to utilize computerized information system what if we want to utilize computerized information system what will be the components of computerized information system computer system computer system itself then if databases sir. software databases Different software wow exactly Different exactly software. data software hardware peoples etc now which things will remain common in case of the traditional information system and the computerized information system human resource people. data human resource human and data 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 right only the things related with, with computer will change so you have got the point now here you can see in the first slide only i have uh, uh, about this content can you able to see my mouse cursor yes yes, yes. about this content yes, i have i have i have i have uh, put one diagram now in that diagram you you could able to see different kind of short form being mentioned like ecm ctm erp crm huge uh, number of uh, terms i have mentioned as a uh, sh uh, what you can the short form of that now these are nothing but the various kind of information system nowadays available in the market i am talking about the computerized information system available in the market okay and most popular out of that the name of that you must have heard that is nothing but the erp system got the point have you heard the erp system before yes anybody have you heard this uh, term erp system erp system no no sir nobody no, sir. yes sir who who have heard tell me the name uh, suraj sir suraj yes suraj do you know anything about this good you know you have heard this at least hmm can sir, it's your use use uh -huh. for attendance and uh, exactly. much more exactly can you tell me the long form of that no okay erp here stands for the enterprise resource planning you can note down planning. if you are, if you are carrying the notebook i already told you you must carry the notebook erp stands for what the enterprise resource planning planning means enterprise can be a academic institution like our college enterprise can be a manufacturing industry or enterprise can be a small business industry also everywhere this kind of information system is being utilized understood now means what actually enterprise resource planning as a information system it is nothing but the one of the software for your kind knowledge it is what one of the software which is used to conduct the functionality that we have discussed related to the information system which functionality we have discussed collection storage distribution and the processing 
am i right yes sir yes means we are now talking about the computerized information system and their components we have already discussed the components what component first and most important the computer itself second most important the software and i told you here the example of software is nothing but what enterprise resource planning is one of the information system which is being popularly utilized which stands for the what enterprise resource planning mm -hmm. understood do you understood the example of uh, computerized information mm -hmm. system what yes, is the popular example erp system enterprise resource planner mm -hmm. or enterprise resource plan okay now we are on the second slide you can uh, read the same we have written the uh, definition of the information system in just short form what definition we have written the computer information system is system composed of people and the computers that process or interpret the information this is the short definition of computerized information system now here this computer this computer consists of the related with the computer there are more components are associated more components are nothing but like your software hardware data etc etc okay now this two definition this second and the third we will come to this definition when you discuss the next point okay now also we will come to this definition when you discuss the next points and here now we are i'm uh, we can you can see here the three important example of information system we are going to discuss and in that first one is what the enterprise resource planning that is the your erp system okay now can you able to see the figure properly yes sir yes sir now you can see here centrally i have mentioned the as a uh, system and here you can see these are nothing but the its modules modules of these main erp systems modules in the sense can anybody tell me modules which modules are there purchase management sales management inventory finance supply chain manufacturing marketing crm hr this is the main module this is the main module hello hello can you able to hear me guys mayur hello guys can you able to hear me yes sir yes, yes, yes sir. we got we got disconnected uh, can you able to see the screen yes sir yes sir yes no sir Yes, no okay let me let me connect it again now yes sir yes yes sir okay now we are discussing the first information system example that is the erp system okay this is the main module and these are nothing but its sub module what does what is mean by the module small parts units units okay then the sub systems sub system exactly the sub system like music player as a one software it's having the different uh, sub system like uh, forwarding the music backward uh, playing the music uh, recording the music etc etc so likewise each software system is having their main uh, module and its sub modules now this sub modules indicating the what is the functionality of this erp system yes or no the sub modules of yeah. these main modules indicating for what purpose the erp system can be utilized in the business yes or no yes for example sub module purchase management it will handle what yes satyam satyam ठीक है नहीं सर purchase management will do what adjust sub module of the uh, main erp system purchase management will do what
Gayatri, yes. Store the uh, record of purchasing. Whatever the purchasing activities will be there, the management of that will be done by this sub module as a purchase management. Got the point? Then sales management. Record of record related with the selling of the items, selling, selling of the item. products. That is quite uh, understandable. Inventory management. Can anybody tell me what is meaning of the inventory management? Updation, updates. Oh, no. Or invention. No. Anybody else? Inventory means. Uh, uh you can you can take the example for example uh, now companies company has to uh, purchase something and company has to sell something yes or no yes yes so inventory are nothing but the uh, material which is required to produce something inventory are nothing but what material which is required to produce something so you can consider the inventory as a raw material required yes mayur nothing sir no. so in case of the related with our uh, shop okay uh, shop uh, related with uh, 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 consider the apan uh, yes, uh, take the example of kirana mall as a dukan okay okay take the example of kirana mall uh, in the kirana mall as a dukan madhe kay asta we used to purchase a different kind of product like apan dal purchase karto tandoor purchase karto he jale te kirana mala je dukana madle sagle kay inventories you got the point yes sir yes similarly company madhe sudha spare parts astil kiwa raw material asel je kay asel te sagana apan kay mantu that everything comes under the which category inventories understood yes sir yes then finance and the accounting this module will handle what things related with the finance money, money management etc etc et got the point then come to the next hr related with the recruitment mm -hmm. of uh, employee etc etc simple okay next crm can anybody tell me the full form of the crm it stands for the customer relationship management what crm stands for what the customer relationship management management means can anybody tell me what is the need of this module uh, customer care service exactly which the company should remain link with the customer every time if there is a new product company is launching the alert related with your new product must reach to your customer if there is a some festival is there the company can also send the best wishes message to the customer for all this so whatever things will require to maintain the good relation with customer that is being managed with the help of which module crm got the point yes sir yes say so next module related to the erp marketing so activities related with the marketing and the advertisement barobar company la is it required for the company or not marketing is required for our uh, manufacturing industry or not ah uh, yes yes sir yes. yes. tar related activities kon handle karil kutla module marketing, marketing module manufacturing related records this uh, uh, related with the manufacturing of products record related with that will be handled by this manufacturing model supply chain management can anybody explain me this supply chain management supply chain now here comes uh, the management uh, highs rohit highs he ma he last module na sagalyancha ichya depend karnar karan किती शिल्लक आहे किंवा किती मॅन्युफॅक्चर करतोय किंवा हा ओके ओके सप्लाय चेन मध्ये अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो कम्स लाइक थिंग्स रिलेटेड विथ द वेंडर्स यू गॉट द पॉइंट वेंडर्स इन द सेंस लास्ट टाइम यू टोल्ड मी वेंडर्स म्हणजे विक्रेता विक्रेता ज्याच्याकडून तुम्ही काहीतरी बरोबर रॉ मटेरियल परचेस करत असाल येस ऑर नो तर ती पूर्ण एक कंपनी मध्ये चेन असते 
okay you uh, the one vendor purchase from the another vendor then you purchase from the that vendor etc so management of that all things comes under the which uh, module supply chain that's why it is called here the chain c h a i n chain means interrelated got the point yes sir yes, so sir. vendor yes, management uh, that is being maintained here uh, managed here in the supply chain management now we will read the definition enterprise resource planning as a erp refers to the type of the software that organization used to manage day to day business activities such as accounting purchasing sales management inventory management supply chain operation manufacturing marketing customer relationship management etc etc i hope all of you got the concept of erp system as a example of computerized information system yes yes sir yes now using these different sub modules erp system also help the company to plan to do the budget to predict something and to generate various kind of reports is this correct or not he je sagle modules yes, ahet using these modules we can also get from the erp system software this kind of benefits like planning budgeting doing the prediction and generating the reports got the point yes sir now we apply this this information uh, this uh, as a example of information system which is we are calling it as a erp now our college also has the erp system uh, uh, before 2 years okay now number of if you ask to your friends who are studying in the other colleges uh, reputed colleges uh, might be from the metro cities they are their colleges also maintaining the erp systems for the education purpose yes or no now in case of our college how the erp system can be useful that is the my question and if we want to use the erp system for our college whether these modules will be get change or not that is my second question modules get change definitely gayatri modules will get change mm, yes sir barobar na ata he je modules ite mi dakhavlele ahet jo model maine idhar jo modules maine idhar dikhaya hai ye modules jo hai kiske related hai ek ek manufacturing industry se related hai yes or no yes the yes. example of modules i have shown here these modules are not related with any educational institute these modules are related with what some manufacturing industry for example take the example of uh, mahindra or the infosys or the reliance any manufacturing industry now my question is what if you want if you want to use the uh, information uh, information system as a erp for our college now with which modules this modules will be get replaced do you understand the question yes sir ha yogesh with which modules this modules will be get replaced uh, admission process admission process exactly very good then mm. student performance like attendance exactly and... very good who is this suraj suraj ha yes then student requirement then uh, account uh, section account section uh, staff lose record barobar library management yes. staff uh, recruitment record account okay. section account section parent relationship management what parent relationship yes, sir. means uh, uh, remain uh, uh, link with the parents of the students got the point now yes now if you apply the erp system in our college what kind of benefit we can have as compare with our ongoing system do you got the question so question samajh la ka kay vicharto me ki atta ji aplya college madhe system aaye if we replace with the erp system what benefit you can get what benefit 
we can uh, the staff can also get question samajh lae no sir what i am asking now in our college erp system is available or not आपल्या कॉलेज मध्ये ईआरपी सिस्टीम आहे का दॅट इज माय क्वेश्चन नो 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 बरोबर नाउ व्हॉट आय एम आस्किंग इफ यू युटिलाइज ईआरपी सिस्टीम इन आवर कॉलेज व्हॉट बेनिफिट वी कॅन गेट क्वेश्चन समजला आता यस सर व्हॉट बेनिफिट वी कॅन गेट बाय युजिंग ऍडव्हर्टाइजिंग by using advertising more people know about our college okay then suraj students the performance manage karta hai sir that is also correct then next now how we are department ha ha सगळे डिपार्टमेंट एका ठिकाणी गॅदर होतील म्हणजे वेगवेगळ्या ठिकाणी आपल्याला जावं लागेल ओके ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन विल गेट कलेक्टेड सेंट्रली देन सर सीआरएम मुळे आपल्याला विद्यार्थ्यांचा प्रॉब्लेम पण कळतील सर सी आता सीआरएम कशाने रिप्लेस होईल पीआरएम ने बरोबर आता ते ज्या वेळेस एआरपी सिस्टीम डेव्हलप होईल त्याला ते काही पण नाव देऊ शकतात आपण फक्त म्हटलं की पीआरएम पॅरेंट रिलेशनशिप मॅनेजमेंट बरोबर वन पॉइंट यू आर नॉट टेलिंग मी दॅट आय एम एक्सपेक्टिंग फ्रॉम यू नाव हाऊ नाव डेज हाऊ वी आर आय एम आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन बिफोर द लॉकडाऊन हाऊ द स्टाफ इज टेकिंग युअर अटेंडन्स yes calling roll numbers means uh, manually manually yeah. manually we are using the uh, registers yes or no catalog catalog and we are marking the attendance now if the erp system comes we can have that erp system application on our mobile and we can directly enter the your attendance within the erp system yes or no yes sir that is the that is the major yes. advantage correct yes now when we when we go for uh, calculating your attendance uh, after one month or two months then what we have to do we have to do the calculation by by accessing our registers somebody is somebody's mic is on please uh, off please switch off the mic okay you usually see the we are displaying your attendance barobar यस सर आता ती अटेंडन्स कॅल्क्युलेट करण्यासाठी आम्हाला जवळजवळ दोन एक दीड तासाचा टाइम लागतो जर मंथली तुमची अटेंडन्स कॅल्क्युलेट करून डिस्प्ले करायची असेल तर बरोबर ना इज इट राईट राईट बट इफ यू हॅव द इआरपी सिस्टीम देन विद इन अ क्लिक वी कॅन जनरेट युअर प्रिव्हियस मंथ अटेंडन्स हाऊ मेनी लेक्चर्स यू हॅव अटेंडेड हाऊ मेनी लेक्चर्स यू हॅव नॉट अटेंडेड येस ऑर नो इज इट पॉसिबल ऑर नॉट येस that yes, is the sir. one major yes, major advantage of utilizing the erp system as a information system in case of the educational yes. institution also we can in case of uh, our college we can generate the report of the student attendance within within a some seconds yes or no we can plan yes, the lectures of the students with less time etc etc i hope now you have got the clear concept of what exactly mean by the ERP system and the function of the ERP system. Do you understand all of them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's move forward to the another example. Then another important one, uh, example of information system, which is also being utilized by the number of uh, uh, businesses. That is the expert system. What? Expert system. Can anybody elaborate me on the expert system? what what you are understanding from the name expert system i am not so asking just you, like our uh, class 
एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम सर एक्सपर्ट से इट हेल्प्स टू टेक अ सजेशन सॉरी सजेशन देना साडी सर पीपल्स ना एक्झॅक्टली एक्झॅक्टली यस एनीबॉडी एल्स रेखा दे रेखा दे इन्फॉर्मेशन देना साडी सर बरोबर ओके यस एनीबॉडी वांट टू टेल मी एनीथिंग गाइड करना साडी गाइड करना एक्झॅक्टली मींस to whom we can call the expert who is who is having the good knowledge of that particular sector or the area yes or no yes sir yes sir for example take the example of doctors take the example of advocate advocate now we discuss about the doctor example now if you go to the doctor if you go to the doctor and and you ask the doctors to check yourself okay and then doctor will check you and after that he might find you the you have the symptoms like high temperature you have the breathing problem less oxygen you have the headache you have the back pain etc etc then from these symptoms doctor will tell you what you have the disease of corona yes or no yes sir yes so their doctor is acting as what the human expert am i correct yes sir yes yes sir yes and then now i read the definition then we'll come to that point again expert system is a type of information system that facilitate the computer to make suggestion and function like an expert in particular field now here we don't want the ex human expert what we don't want the human expert what we want we want the computer to give you all these kind of suggestion is it possible yes sir it's possible barobar aplyala tyachya sathi kay karava lagel yes ek platform create karava lagal in short you have to create one software software right you have to create one software by using some xyz language barobar ka yes sir and while while developing that software you have to fill all the information he xyz disease i disease having this 1 2 3 kind of symptoms these all the information you have to give to that computer when you are developing the software yes or no and then and then only that software can give can answer you if you if you put the symptoms like that the computer will answer you that you have this xyz kind of disease then that computer will become the expert system like the human expert barobar yes sir yes sir exactly so that is here i have mentioned just like ata ata let let uh, let's compare uh, or let's discuss the expert system in case of the uh, some uh, software company ki ekas ekada software company madhe jar expert system uh, whether if if any kind of software company what will be the role of expert system consider the xyz software company what will be role of expert system in that software company sir software related problem manje software cha working kase hai sir bar bar ata exactly means what ata if you if you uh, some of you might be knowing in software company number of employees used to be recruit recruitment process always going on yes or no yes sir if some new employee get recruited in the company now new employee la directly project dila jato ka work karnyasathi no sir no ai tela agodar kay dile jato training first he training. he has to go from the training phase now training. nowadays the information systems are available to give training to the newly recruited employee you got the point yes sir yes sir now if the information system as a expert system in the software in the software company will get developed is there any need of the human expert to give training to the newly recruited employee mm. so, no no if you develop the computer system ha yes 
Yes. Yes. If we have the if we have that system, we don't need means human. You, no. Uh, I can't I can't hear you properly. Okay. What what you are saying is also correct. If you develop the computer system, computer system is what machine uh, one machine or not? Yes, sir. If you develop one machine as a computer system and you install the expert system on that to give training to your employee, now there will be the no need of the human expert to give training to the newly really recruited employee. And that is nothing but the information system as a uh, example of info. Another example of information system as a expert system. Got the point? Yes, sir. means in short the this expert system is also like the erp system but its role will be different correct yes sir correct barobar na erp system and expert system cha role ekach rahil ka no sir no expert system tumhi kutla tari ek particular uh, purpose sathi develop karnar ki suppose ek Uh, uh you are creating the expert system to give training to the newly recruited employee related with some newly available language in the market or to give training to your newly recruited employee related with the newly launch technology so role of the erp system and role of the expert system will be different related with for what purpose you are using that kind of information system now this diagram you can able to see the diagram figure yes sir yes here i have just shown the uh, small model model of the expert system uh, uh, three main components of that user interface inference engine and the knowledge base yes in user interface inference engine and the knowledge base knowledge base is nothing but the the whole uh, database what knowledge base is nothing but what whole database whole data. what it is containing can anybody tell me data consider this this as a expert system in some software company then what will be his knowledge base this knowledge will base nothing but the information related with suppose you are you have created this expert system uh, to give training to your employee regarding some new launch technology barobar then this knowledge base will contain the all the information related with your newly launched technology am i right yes sir yes that's why here you can see the arrow has been shown from hum some human expert now who is going to create the expert system human only yes or no yes so yes. that's why here it is shown knowledge from the human expert that will be get uh, embedded while the, while developing or while designing this expert system in the knowledge base next component inference engine can anybody tell me the inference engine mobile nay no. inference engine means what do you know the meaning of the inference anybody to do the prediction Okay. Meaning of the inference is what? To do the prediction. Prediction मुझे समझते हैं. Prediction करने मुझे क्या है? अंदाज़ लाऊँगा. अंदाज़ आप. बरोबर. 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 So now from the knowledge base arrow is shown to the inference engine. Okay. me and then from the inference engine one arrow is shown to the user interface here okay now whenever user interface is is what what are the different user interfaces mayur tell me the different user interface available gy yes like how you how you interact with the computer system using keyboard mouse etc etc correct yes sir these are come nothing but the user interface now what what this diagram is uh, indicating some newly recruited employee 
that is i am calling here non expert user can we call it as a non expert user or not yes sir newly yes, recruited sir. employee yes. now that newly recruited employee want to know about the newly launched technology <laughs> barobar and for that that company has one expert system developed so what non expert can do he can ask the query through the user interface means like through the keyboard mouse etc barobar from here the query goes mm -hmm. to the inference engine okay the query goes to where inference, inference. engine and inference engine is having the link to the what knowledge base correct knowledge base so inference engine will compare the query which is done by the non expert user with the knowledge base content am i right yes what yeah. the inference engine will do inference engine who has asked the query non expert non expert non expert has asked the query through the user interface that query goes to the inference engine inference, inference engine, engine will compare that query with the content or the information which is available in the knowledge base Not and the then base. inference engine will find the uh, what we can say inference engine will find some probable answer to the queries of the non expert and again that answer from the inference engine will go to the non expert as a advice got the point yes yes sir. that is nothing but the expert system as a expert. information samajh le sagarna Yes, yes sir. Okay, go to the next point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next expert system, uh, office automation. Now this, now office automation nowadays comes along with the ERP system only. Office automation. Can anybody tell me the meaning of this office automation? Office automation means what? Think on, think on this term. Office automation. ऑटोमेशन मे सत्यम व्हाट इज मीन बाय द ऑटोमेशन सर टेक्नोलॉजी समथिंग विल गिव यू द रिजल्ट ऑटोमेटिकली ऑटोमेटिकली बरोबर बरबर इत का ऑफिस ऑटोमेशन सिस्टीम मीन्स द सिस्टीम विच विल मेक द वर्क ऑफ ऑफिस ऑटोमेटिकली करेक्ट Yes, sir. Yes. Instead of manual working, this system will help you to do the work of the office automatically. Now we'll take the example of our college office only. Okay. Now in our college office, when you go to the college office section, that is my question to you. When you go to your college office. mayor something account related uh, means paise yes, bharayche yes, asal yes 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 if you form yes then these are the two common things for the student barobar yes. yes for sir. the for the staff we go, we also go to the office for you know to check our how many leaves are available how many leaves we have taken etc etc correct yes sir Yes, so what what now consider now where you pay the fees student where you pay the fees and where you do the inquiry of the fees are account you paying the are you paying the fees account in our college office or you go to the our central office central central, office. central you, office. you go to the central, central office, office for paying the fees and you do the inquiry of the fees in our college office correct yes, yes sir Yes, now these all the things are happening manually you have to go here and there you have, uh, round and round yes yes yes, yes. now consider there is a one central information system available in our office section which is keeping the record of i told i i what statement i made there is a central information system available in our office section okay so what record that central information system will keep that central information system will keep the record of the students fees of the students what form student has to fill up staff record staff leave record 
staff payment records etc etc up to the, up to these understood yes sir oh yes, yes. now whenever you when also this central information system also having the one module of transaction processing also means what central information system which is placed where in our college office not at the central not at that polytechnic college i we are we are we are discussing on the example what there is a central information system which we have which we have installed in our college office okay he samajh le yes sir hmm. that central information system are having the modules like modules related with the student and the staff that already i told you and that modules containing the things related uh, like the one of the module is the transaction processing what what will be the role, role of this module kai transaction processing fee management he ek module alach correct student yes. fee record staff leave record हे हे पण मॉड्यूल आलेच त्याच्याबरोबर मी आणखीन एक मॉड्यूल सांगतो तुम्हाला काय की ट्रान्झॅक्शन प्रोसेसिंग मॉड्यूल ऑनलाईन पेमेंट साठी एक्झॅक्टली व्हेरी गुड स्टुडंट कॅन मेक युजिंग दॅट मॉड्यूल स्टुडंट कॅन मेक द ऑनलाईन पेमेंट फ्रॉम एनिवेअर अनदर मॉड्यूल आय टेल यू मेसेजिंग मॉड्यूल व्हॉट इज द रोल ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल क्युरी ऑफ स्टुडंट student can also account. send their feedback also account section can send the alert messages to the students related with the fees pending am i right yes yes also yes. office section can send the alert messages to the staff also related with their leaves available leaves taken etc yes mag ashi jar information system aplya office madhe asel then will you get the benefit or not yes sir definitely yes. you will get the benefit and mag he je sagla if you if you install or if you deploy such kind of information system in our college office then our college office will become what office automation Digital. system then we can call our college office as a automation system or not yes now yes. number of yes, things become yes. automatically na you know there is a you don't need to go to the central office and go see the uh, uh, what pay the fees go to, come to the our college office ask regarding the pending fees etc etc we don't also has to go manually to the their clerk ask how many our leaves are available how many we can take etc etc got the point yes sir that is nothing but the office automation system and in the figure i have shown the same thing input through the some uh, computer system you like some data documents etc office automation as a main uh, our software will process all these and output like sending the messages uh, sending the reports schedule now here you can see this our uh, office automation as a main software doing the different things like storing merging calculation etc can you able to see this स्टोरिंग मर्जिंग कैलक्युलेशन बरबर तुम्हारे फी च कैलक्युलेशन कर गोषी स्टोरिंग द रेकॉर्ड ऑफ युअर फीज अवर लीव रेकॉर्ड दैट एवरीथिंग विल बी डन बाय दिस मिडल पार्ट दिस अवर मेन सॉफ्टवेयर सीस्टीम एज अ इन्फॉर्मेशन सीस्टीम अंडरस्टूड सो आई जस्ट रीड द डेफिनेशन दैट ऑलरेडी वी आर डिस्कस इयर ऑफिस ऑटोमेशन रिफर टू द वैरिड कंप्यूटर मैशनरी and the software used to digitally create collect store manipulate and relay the office information this is the same definition that we are discussing related with the information system relay office information means what can anybody tell me relay office information means what satyam relaying the information don't know sir ha huh? don't know but, but i give you the clue read the read this part 
very computer machinery and the software that is nothing or information system used to digitally create collect store manipulate and what is remaining related with the definition of the information system distribute distribution that is the meaning of the relay relay office information means distribute the office information needed for accomplishing the various basic tasks task okay so raw data storage electronic transfer electronic transfer in the sense the email can be sent message can be sent and the management of electronic business information this kind of various basic activities can be conducted by the office automation system as a one of the example of information system to be specific computerized information system got the third example yes sir okay and now we have reached to the our uh, basic point or the next point of the discussion basic components of the information system which already we have discussed up till uh, when we are coming to this point first component is what can you able to see hardware hardware first component of the information system hardware means in the hardware different things comes like the cpu comes various input output devices comes Uh, then uh, what we can say, uh, motherboard, whatever the storage devices, communication devices, that everything comes under the hardware. First component of the information system. समझ ले? Yes sir. Oh sir. Next component, most importantly, software. फक्त हार्डवेयर आसुन चालेल का? No. फक्त असे ब्लँक कम्प्युटर मशीन आपल्याकडे असून चालेल का ऑन दॅट यू हॅव टू इन्स्टॉल अवर सॉफ्टवेअर फॉर एक्झाम्पल ई आर पी और एक्सपर्ट सिस्टीम और द ऑफिस ऑटोमेशन सिस्टीम एज अ सॉफ्टवेअर अंडरस्टूड यू ऑलरेडी मस्ट बी नोइंग ऑल दिस थिंग व्हाट डज इट मीन द टर्म सॉफ्टवेअर रिफर टू द कॉम्प्युटर प्रोग्राम्स एटसेट्रा कॉम्प्युटर प्रोग्राम्स कन्सिस्ट ऑफ द मशीन रिडेबल इन्स्ट्रक्शन येस ऑर नो येस विच डायरेक्टली Yes. Uh, communicate with your uh, hardware parts of the system. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Software, software. Yes. Our our software can directly communicate with the hardware part of the system. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Very good, na? Jar, apply computer mode operating system na cell. The kai will. If in your Sir, user la. If in our computer system there is no operating system. Sir, user interact. Apan apan interaction is karu shaknar nai na. Borobar. Je tum cha computer system madhe je hardware part se the ek me kashi interact karu shaktil ka. No. Borobar na. No. So in order the main uh, for for your information we need the operating system so that. all the har hardware parts of your system can interact with each other and after interacting with each other they can give you the result ata tyacha madhe system software application software he bharpur ata aplyala tyachashi we don't have to do uh, we don't have to discuss about that uh, all the things here only the point uh, another component of our information system the particular software needs to be installed on your computer system got the second component yes sir okay yes नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टंट डेटा बरोबर इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम ला फक्त हा कम्प्युटर हार्डवेअर आणि सॉफ्टवेअर असून चालेल का नो देर इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ डेटा अंडरस्टूड सो व्हॉट डेटा इज दॅट ऑलरेडी वी हॅव डिस्कस बाय प्रोसेसिंग द डेटा ओनली युअर इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम कॅन गिव्ह द रिझल्ट इन युअर इन युअर इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम Uh, so you are, uh, in your computer system you have installed the uh, information system as a software correct but in that you are not given any kind of data if if you if you want to calculate the student attendance if you are using the erp system for the college and if you want to calculate the student attendance but if you don't feel the student attendance in that information system will it be able to calculate the infra uh, will it be able to calculate your attendance without the data no no, no. so data is also the foremost important component in case of the uh, information system next procedure this is the second last component procedure means what 
procedure as a component of the information system can anybody explain me mayur gayatri procedures or the policies yes anybody procedures or the policy guidelines or rules that should follow user exactly very good who is this mayur exactly ata in for now information system is available in our college you have to consider okay imagine kay for example erp system is available in our college now there must be a some rules policies has to be formed what policies ki who is going to use that or anybody can come and interact with that information system is it like that no no there are some rules procedures there are some specific people or the person who can only use that information system understood and that is nothing but the policies and the procedures ki te information system kon kon use karu shakte understood whether student can use it whether staff can use it or whether outside person can use it like that kind of rules and regulation that is nothing but the procedures understood this is like procedure are to people what software is to the hardware means there should be a some rules for the people to interact with that information system if you allow anybody to interact then there might be a concern related with the security or not yes sir exactly so some rules and regulation process uh, procedure has to be followed so that uh, it can be decide who can utilize the information system got the fourth uh, component yes sir. yes sir yes and the last one peoples the most important without the people will the information system will run properly no sir. no no because every we need the people to make the entry of data within the information system we need the people to operate the information system we need the people to uh, connect the different computers together if you are uh, uh, utilizing the information system within a large organization etc etc so same point i have mentioned here so information system uh, related with the information system last component people so people include for example uh, if you consider the information system related with the manufacturing industry now there are peoples like the people uh, uh, means customer also comes under the people category barobar vendors also mm. comes under the people category the employees will also comes under the people category understood so or uh, those who are using that information system handling that information system that everybody will come under the for last component that is the people here i have mentioned the people component includes not only the users but those who operate service the computers those who maintain the data uh, data backup and those who support the network of computers everybody will come under the category of people that is nothing but our last component of information system understood yes sir yes sir now can anybody tell me last yes. here here i am marking those who support the network of computers what does it mean those who are know the how to use the computer or ata handle it now information system suppose our college has the erp as the information system for student and the staff etc etc ata ek apan eka central server varti information system install karnar correct are you getting what i'm saying what i said we will install that information system on on some central server correct yes yes sir from that the uh, we have to link that particular central server through the network to some 10 to 15 computers correct you are getting what i am saying 
once you install the information system on the central server now everybody cannot go to the central server and operate am i right yes so that's mm. why you have you have to you have to create one network network of 10 computers or the 15 computers understood now to handle that those person who are handling this network of computers so that person will also come under the category of the last component of our information system that is the people understood the last component yes sir yes sir so that is nothing but our today's session where we have discussed concept of the information system then uh, various examples of the information system and various components of the information information system system okay i hope all of you understood the same video will i will upload on the youtube also you can go through that and if you have any queries you can ask me in the comment section okay now who is using the notepad there yes it is all these things who is using the notepad there yes can you able to hear me okay don't use the notepad without my permission okay so that's it uh, thank you all of you okay we'll see the next part in the next lecture okay okay sir okay. thank you sir okay